And we want to get to another interesting conversation right now. And uh, we want to cross over to our city center studios where we have Mwenese Musalia, who is a soft skills and corporate image consultant to just give us uh, a sense of uh, where the young people in the country are headed. And of course, looking at uh, right now, one of the big topics for the young generation is branding. Many thanks, uh, Musali, for joining us this afternoon. It's a pleasure to be, to be here. Thank you very much for having me. Well, the issue of soft skills has uh, come across as something that people over uh, under, actually underrate, and uh, this has a big impact on how people can position themselves and how companies can be able to absorb the younger generation. From where you sit, where are we as a country and as a population in regard to this? Well, as a country, I think we're doing very well. Um, our education system ranks, in my opinion, amongst one of the best in the world, uh, if not in Africa. Uh, there are some things, however, which we can grow as, as a people, and that is where uh, some of us have identified uh, that we can contribute some of our own skills uh, to, to aid in the, in the development of the youth, and that is in uh, areas that, that have to do with interpersonal relationships, how people relate to, to, to each other, not just in the workplace, but also in business, in society, in their communities, and how, how this relationship, uh, this, this, this way of relating to each other can be useful for them in their lives uh, as far as uh, enhancing their own abilities and technical skills that they may have picked up either in, in mainstream university or, or mainstream education uh, and, and in other areas as well. So for us, we, we are really working towards trying to contribute to the, to the softer side of human interaction, whether it is how you talk, how you speak, how you dress, how you... Um, position yourself, how you grow your brand, how you're able to use uh, your tools of influence uh, within your community to further yourself in your life and in your career. And uh, Usali, you've raised an important issue that uh, we, we are, as a country, we are somewhere. And perhaps uh, looking at the younger generation, um, there's also that need to be very versatile when it comes to the soft skills. Perhaps walk us through what was your journey like as you built a brand out of you? Well, right now we're very fortunate in that we live in a global society where the internet and access to information has become uh, so, so wide and pervasive that the world has become a smaller place and our ability, especially for the youth in this generation, to interact with people from across the world, from across different cultures, is so much wider. So we cannot ignore um, our, our, our positioning in terms of how we behave and react to each other. But as far as myself, uh, as far as I am concerned in, in my own journey, uh, I have been exposed, I've been fortunate enough to have been exposed uh, to different cultures and different settings, having traveled around the world um, and, and lived in different parts of the world, both here in Africa, in, in the US and in Europe, and looking at how people uh, are, 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 are able to deal with each other, both in terms of business and in, in, in employment, I decided to come back to Kenya um, and, and use my, my exposure and my experience to, to try and uh, cultivate a, uh, an organization and an institute that would help uh, people get access to some of these um, lessons and life skills that you wouldn't otherwise be able to get because you have not, you don't have the ability to travel out there. I'm a trained lawyer by, by, by academic uh, qualification. However, I've been in public relations and communications for a long time, and I understand how, how important it is uh, to be able to relate to your fellow human being in a way that can further you for your success. So because of my exposure and because because of my, my education, I feel like it is, I'm, in a, I'm in a good position to contribute to uh, Kenya and the economy and to the youth as a whole. And uh, Wanesi, what sort of tips can you give the young uh, graduates who are trying to break into the job market, which has been very hard bearing in mind? It's very competitive and uh, interviewers always have an, a set of uh, parameters they try to get before they can absorb someone in a company. 
My, my first thing is to play to your strengths. Uh, understand what you have to offer, because many of us, although we might be unique and come from different backgrounds, we all have something that we have to offer, which people around us will be able to identify and say, you know what, this person is very good at this. Or, and you know, if you hear something a couple of times, maybe two, three, four times, uh, you need to be able to take that strength, use it, and then apply it in whatever field. So for example, if I can use my own, my own example, um, although I studied law, I didn't, I didn't like all the aspects of law, but what I did like was how um, the aspects of contract law and negotiating uh, worked and so I decided to use that and use it to grow my marketing career. So you might find that there will be aspects of you that you're very good at. Maybe you like to bake, maybe you like to cook, maybe you like to to, to read or you like maths or whatever it is, whatever you are strong at, use, the, use those strengths. And because now we have the internet, we have access to a wide array of information. You can skip a couple of steps without having to, 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 to do the traditional education um, uh, uh, journey. And uh, you, can, you can use the internet to practice and perfect certain skills. Um, you know, YouTube right now, there's a lot of content on there where people can learn certain things uh, to further themselves. And you'll find that the job market is, is now very, very mixed. You, you will find there are a lot of people who are employed, self-employed, entrepreneurs, investors, and uh, it's, it's quite possible now to not just for, uh, look, at, look at, your, at, at, at life from a job market perspective, but look at your own skills and your own strengths and see where can I use these skills and fit into the market and be of value. That is the only way you'll be able to get ahead. So my, my top tip is to understand your strengths, perfect your strengths, and look, look for ways that you can plug these strengths into the, into the economy and into the, the society that you're in and make it useful so that people can find value and pay you for it. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. And uh, perhaps uh, looking at the bigger picture, um, are there brands that have been able to uh, sort of uh, leverage on uh, soft skills that you can give us examples? And what was the story like? Oh, absolutely, and, and especially with a lot of the big multinationals and, uh, and, and major corporations that you see out there. Many of them have large workforces with many interrelated departments and, and far-reaching uh, offices in different parts of the world. And they, know, they understand the importance of, of having uh, a, a human resource that is versatile and skilled enough to be able to relate across borders, across departments, and across uh, areas of expertise. So for, for, for myself, I can say that my experience has been that with large organizations and with those, even, even with SMEs who are coming up, who see the value in being able to develop their human resource to be versatile enough to work in a very diverse, changing, um, globalized economy, um, having, having uh, soft skills and the ability to relate to people across the board and to do it in a way that makes them not only feel comfortable with you, but you can leverage and influence and tailor your brand and your message to them is something that many companies have, have found in important and useful. Uh, right now, in fact, the challenge is uh, in the public sector where a lot of, uh, uh, if I can use my example here in Kenya, a lot of county governments are starting to realize the importance of developing a strong, unique brand that is unique to that county, where you can sense that this county has a particular culture, has a particular way of doing things, which is uh, distinct and unique. And because they're able to do that, their people have uh, are, are now in, 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 in tune with that message and they're able to, to work as a unit to grow and further the brand. And this becomes useful for them to, to attract investment, to, to, to make people comfortable to come and do business with them. So I'm finding that across public and private sector, uh, enhancing soft skills and the ability for people to, to behave and work in a certain way is becoming very, very useful. And, uh uh, of course, uh, it's a big conversation across the globe, looking at uh, uh, various uh, business uh, leaders, the likes of, um, of course, uh, we, we can give a number of examples from Virgin Atlantic CEO Richard Branson. And um, what's the one thing that uh, people can tap into when it comes to improving and growing their soft skills? I mean, it's good that you've mentioned uh, Richard Branson because um, him and if I can use another local example of, 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 of Bob Collimo, the, the Safaricom CEO, these are people who have been able to not, not rely heavily on uh, their mainstream academic qualifications, but they've, they've managed to leverage and use their ability to interact with people. You know, people take it for granted that your ability to, to deal with human beings in a way that cultivates not just respect and, 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 and admiration from a good manner 
China's perspective, but makes people comfortable enough to deal with you, can get you very far ahead in life, as we've cited with these two examples. So people should not take uh, soft skills for granted. They should not take interpersonal um, uh, uh, skills for granted. In fact, what we should be doing now is working together to find how we can integrate this into our curriculums and our our, our mainstream teaching so that it's part and parcel of, of, of what we do. I, you know, this is, this is where we, some of us professionals who teach this stuff have come in and we're trying to plug the gaps in making sure that people start to realize that there is huge value in being able to make people relate with you and be comfortable with you in whatever setting it is. And uh, finally, for your company, looking at the bigger picture, what sort of opportunities lie for entrepreneurs in the business you are in and uh, what, where would you like to see your company say in the next five years? Ah uh, well, um, for in in this industry, it's quite it's uh, it's it's quite a new industry, especially uh, in in this part of the world in East Africa. However, um, we we are seeing a lot more people now getting interested in the in the image consulting side of things, where we where you you learn to package uh, and present um, the human resource side of of a business uh, in in a way that it makes them effective to grow their brand and and and, and spread their message. And for me and my and our organization, the etiquette and Protocol Institute of East Africa, I would like to see a situation where in five years um, we become part and parcel of the, 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 the fabric of society in such a way that um, it, it, is, it is essential for people to have good, good communication skills, good behavior, um, and uh, who knows, maybe, in, maybe we, we might end up having uh, a, a proper uh, institution like a university or a college where we will be able to offer uh, these sorts of skills. So I'd like to see that kind of, of, of thing happen. And I'd like to see my country, Kenya, be at the forefront of, of leading this and having many people from within Africa come to Kenya and, and experience the best of what we have to offer in the, in the business of image consulting and uh, soft skills uh, development. All right. And uh, what's your parting shot, really? Do you think our politicians have soft skills? <laughs> yes, there are quite a few who do. Um, and uh, obviously, there, there are a few who um, may, may have some areas that they can, they can possibly develop. Um, the main aspect of soft skills for me um, and it's part of what I do on a daily basis, is to help as many people fulfill their potential and get what's theirs, get what, what they, they, they have um, to offer in terms of their own unique value. So do your best, learn how to interact with people, and get yours. Many thanks there. Munesi Musalia, just talking to us about the issue around soft skills. Always a pleasure speaking to you. And uh, of course, we definitely will be keeping tabs to ensure we monitor the growth eventually.